okay so back to the api so normally you won't you don't need to uh, know too much like have an in-depth knowledge for api normally to access this one you just request the developer to create the uh, information for you and to recreate you know like the collection for you and every time you need to use you only need to assert the bar id uh, for example here and then you input um, into this one to uh, make some tweaks um, to use it is yeah because the dev is much more familiar with this stuff than us um, and we only need to um, maybe sometime to view it uh, to create the requirement not to implement it okay so next we will look at the um, another thing is API user story so <laughs> one time I uh, I, I, I went on the interview and they asked me about the API user story especially if you work in the product team or uh, uh, an internal team and there is another outsourcing company which build the UI for your product and um, they will ask some information about the API user story so it's good to know about this stuff so basically uh, API user story is kind of like a um, a user so a normal user story but uh you create you create it not for the end user the the, the, the end user but uh, more like for the outsourcing team to um the you the store uh, when and how to use this api and the result of uh the using this okay so looking at here we can see that um the functionality is a customer journey, business and a service, or an IT function. Um, by access, they can have public, partner, or private. For example, public is kind of like the weather API. Yeah, so maybe the weather API is a public service. Um, I, I think they stopped the public service because in the past normally you just go here and it show you the api and you just go off whatever you want but now uh in order to use the api you need to sign in and after you sign in it basically became a partner uh api so uh, you sign in and uh, you become their partner and uh, they will show you the api so that is a partner api and the last one is private so for example you work um uh, there is an outsourcing company that use your uh, API to build a feature and um, you distribute the API in secret uh, within your corporation uh, and uh, you do not disclose this information uh, to the partner or public so this is a private API yeah and um, the user as a person here is normally uh, the developer so basically uh, they can be the system integrator the partner solution provider the system master or a developer okay and ABI, ABI user story formula is basically the same as the user story the normal user story but is uh, different with Z3 so as a person I want to do something so that I can achieve something and we have the scenario um, the precondition when and the expected result so a real example here is that as a system integrator I want to fight um, available room for a date so that I can show the room availability for a date uh, okay so this one um, available in a scenario is that given i'm an authorized with an avi key so after you log in you can only see this one after you uh, authorize to use uh, and when so that uh, you need to input a date a location and uh, you hit submit so after submit it will call or invoke the abi and then the system will return a list of room available for that date so we have the uh, the the, the the UI here for you to easier to understand so after here I choose the date and then the kind of room for example uh, one room for two adult and it will show and after you hit start here it will show the 
uh, list approved so you can see here so um, the system integrator after they call the api and you take get the api they will fit feed the data into the ui to build the feature so basically that is um the ui api user story and i think that is the end of this one um <laughs> and okay so some faq so as a business analyst uh, i don't think that it is mandatory that you know about api user story and api and stuff but um in order to make an advancement in your career i think it's uh, important that you know about it especially if you work in a multi platform a multi platform project for example um you work for uh, like a hotel project like here and you can uh, browse the hotel room not only on the mo mobile but on the web app as well and so uh, there will be you you may need to know about the api so that uh for example the mobile can um have extra feature like they can input the voucher but the web app can can't and yeah so it all depends on the api user story and you may uh if you know this one it will be easier for you to create the requirement and distribute this uh, requirement to the left yeah okay so that is the end of today's tutorial so i hope you learned something new and hopefully we can see i can see you guys in the next tutorial bye